name's Kevin Rapp. Um, I'm a senior chemist with Cargill. I've been fortunate to be one of the inventors of the EnviroTemp FR3 product. When I started with uh, the company, it was called McGraw Edison. And McGraw Edison is actually a partnership between Maximilian McGraw and Thomas Elva Edison. And we, we had a real inventive type of mentality at the Technical Center uh, in Franksville, Wisconsin. The initial mission of the FR3 product development was to uh, look for a dielectric insulating liquid to replace the high molecular weight hydrocarbon uh, fluid. FR3 fluid is a blend mainly of soybean oil and three performance enhancing additives. One for oxidation stability, one for uh, operation at cold temperatures and then a dye to dye it light green to differentiate it from the fluids that it's replacing. The fluid is a balance of properties. So we, we looked at the characteristics that are important for a, a dielectric insulating liquid in a transformer. And of course you have to have uh, uh, oxidatively stable fluid to last for the entire life of the equipment in a sealed uh, uh, fashion. And it has to operate effectively also at cold temperatures. Uh, FR3 fluid had the balance of properties when we did the testing in, uh, in our developments. So, uh, but one of the unique characteristics is while it has the oxidative stability necessary for the equipment to operate for the full close to 21 years of expected life, it still breaks down in the environment uh, under um, the conditions uh, that we tested for and, and that you find out in the environment. The big uh, uh, wow factor, wool factor as I, as I uh, call it, uh, was when we uh, did seal tube tests and we were able to compare the uh, the, the way the paper looked after the testing compared to the way it looked in mineral oil and uh, the, the, the paper is just a stark comparison between uh, how good it looks in FR3 fluid and, and how it looked in mineral oil. And uh, the sealed tubes are a replicate of what happens in an actual sealed power transformer or a distribution transformer. So uh, we knew that we were really on to something when we saw the way that paper looked. A very key attribute of FR3 fluid is its ability to uh, absorb water from the insulation system of a, a transformer. The solid insulation uh, in a transformer made from cellulose is what determines the life of the transformer. So anything we can do to protect the solid insulation, we're protecting the transformer. Now one of the very damaging uh, things about a, uh, operation of a transformer to the solid insulation is the, uh, the generation of water in the cellulose during thermal breakdown. And uh, in a typical mineral oil transformer, uh, that water more or less stays in the insulation and further catalyzes reactions that uh, lessen the life of the insulation. Compared to FR3 fluid, which absorbs the water out of the insulation, and not only does it absorb the water, but it destroys the water and that's a key attribute and when you hydrolyze a vegetable oil you use up the water and you make a byproduct so the key is you get rid of the water so it cannot further damage the solid insulation which determines the life of the equipment when we looked at the life cycle cost of the fluid Compared to the mineral oil that everyone compares it to, we find that uh, it has a uh, practically a, a carbon neutral. Uh, uh, so that uh, 
that carbon neutrality compared to the uh, the, the, the positive uh, carbon input into the environment from the mineral oil is, is really something that you can put dollars and cents on and we can actually show uh, financial benefits uh, through, uh, through owning a green transformer. It's really near and dear, the environmental characteristics to me. I think all of us actually want to make the world a better place to live. And this actually does make the world a better place to live. It's safer, the environment is, is better off with it compared to the fluids that it's replacing. So at the end of the day, I, you know, I can, I can be pleased with uh, all of us in what we've done to help the world be a better place.